Record. Hello, second graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. Please get your book ready and let's start. We are going to start new topic, topic four, lesson one, page 137. How to add two digit numbers using models. Okay, let's watch our video. Find 47 plus 26. You can show 47 and 26 with place value blocks. 47 is 4 tens and 7 ones. 26 is 2 tens and 6 ones. Okay. Join the tens and ones. 6 tens and 13 ones. There are more than 10 ones. How can you regroup the 13 ones? Select your answer. All right. For this lesson, we're going to use regrouping. So we're going to add the tens and the ones. As you see in these examples, our ones, when we add them together, they are more than 10. So they are 1, 10, and few ones. So what do you think? 1, 10, and 3 ones or 1, 10, and 6 ones? I know 13 means 1, 10, and 3 ones. Regroup 13 ones as 1, 10, and 3 ones. Now there are 7 tens and 3 ones. So, 47 plus 26 equals 73. Seven tens means 70 and three ones. So 47 plus 26 equals 73. As you see in the video, we added the tens together and then we added the ones together. And because our ones were more than tens, so we moved the extra 10 to the tens and we only used the ones. Let's do together the guided practice. Add use place value blocks to find each sum. Regroup if needed. So again, we are gonna regroup. So we're gonna put all the tens together and the ones together. And we're gonna count the ones. If the ones are more than 10, like 10 and up, we're gonna move the extra 10 toward the ones. So over here, 32 plus 29. We have three tens and two ones. That's the first addend. The second added addend 29s. That's two tens and nine ones. So if I add all the ones together, I have three and I have two. That's five tens. And over here I have two and nine. Two and nine that make eleven. That means one ten and one one. So I'm gonna move the tens, add it here. Now I don't have five tens, I have six tens, and I'm left with ones. So let me see if we can draw this one. So I'm using the three and the two tens, that's make five tens. And then I'm adding the two ones from here and the nine ones from this add-in. So if I add them, that will be, if I put one more here, and one. So that's make one whole 10. That means my tens are not five anymore. There will be six, which is 60, and I'm left with only one. So it's gonna be six tens and one ones. Okay, let's go for number two. 24 and 52, taking all the tens together, two and five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven tens and I have four ones and two ones, four and two, six. So that leave me seven tens and six ones. All right, let's go for number three. I have 15 plus 38. 
15, that means one 10, five ones. 38 means I have three tens and eight ones. So remember, in the first example, we regroup. We added tens and we add the tens to the tens. Second example, I didn't need to do. I had the seven tens right away and I had the six ones. So I did not uh, need to, do, to regroup. In this example, how many tens we have? One, two, three, four tens. So I'm going to write on the side here four tens. And then I have five ones and eight ones. So if I add the five and eight, let's see, I'm gonna move one here and one here. Now I have full 10 and I have three. That's mean I have 13. So I'm gonna have this 10 moved to the four tens I had it. So it's gonna be five tens and I'm gonna have three ones. So 15 plus 38 is 53. That's five tens and three ones. All right. So this is your turn. You have the independent practice. I will leave you with that to have fun. Remember, sometimes you need to regroup. Sometimes you don't have. So you group the tens together, the ones together. And if your ones are 10 or more than 10, that's mean you're gonna add this extra 10, move from the ones to the tens, and then you're gonna have the ones on the side. All right, that's it for today's lesson, second graders. Thank you, bye.